Okay, boys and girls, here's your second worksheet for today. This is page 35 of your art workbook. So what we're going to do here is the same thing we did before. We're practicing one point perspective. This is a little bit different than the one we did before, and I'll show you the difference in a second. The things that are the same about this one is, first of all, your vanishing point. We're going to make sure that each of the corner points of each of these squares goes into the vanishing point. That is the same. The only difference is we're not going to make those horizontal and vertical lines that we did before, and I'll show you that at the end. So your goal for this is to start with each square. Remember I told you in the first video to just outline the points here on each square to make sure you hit them all. Start with the point that's closest to the vanishing point and make your straight lines using your pencil and your ruler or your straight edge. I'm going to start with this one because it looks like it's closest. Make sure your lines are straight. Make sure that point goes all the way into the vanishing point. Okay, next closest, this one right here. Straight line all the way into the vanishing point. And then this back one. Straight line all the way into the vanishing point. Now remember the rule before, we don't do this point because look, if I check it, oop, there's something blocking me right there. I don't want this to look see-through. So I'm not going to do that back point. Okay, make sure you complete that for each of the squares. Again, you can do that outlining of the points before you make your straight lines. Remember, it's super important to use your ruler or a straight edge. You can use the side of a book, the side of a really thick piece of paper, piece of poster board. Remember in your art bag I gave you a little piece of red poster board that you can use. Now here's something interesting. This square right here is only going to have two points that go into the vanishing point. Let's take a look at why. If I was to draw this point all the way into the vanishing point, look, something blocked me right here. I can't do that. I don't want it to look see-through. So I'm going to not do that one and let's check out this one. Pretty much the same thing is going to happen. If I made a straight line to the vanishing point, this line would also block me, so I'm not going to do that one. So some of your squares will only have two points that go all the way into the vanishing point. Now the last thing I want to show you is something called overlapping. Let's do this square right here now. Outline each of the points. Start with the closest point. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. I don't do that back point, okay. Oh, actually that one looks like it was the same as the rest. Here's the one I was thinking about, this one right here. Let's do this one, this is the tricky one. Okay, outline my points, one, two, three, four. This is the one that's gonna have to overlap. Okay, look what happens here. When I start to draw this line all the way into the vanishing point, let's take a look at if it goes all the way with nothing blocking it. That one is good, but then look at this point. If I try to make this one go all the way to the vanishing point, Look at how this building right here is blocking it. There's something in the way. So here's what I have to do, friends. I have to actually line up my ruler or my straight edge, which edge with the vanishing point and my corner point of my square. And I actually have to stop once I hit that building. I don't want to run into it. Look at what would happen if I ran into it. It would make this building look like it was see-through. I have to make sure I overlap because I want that building to look like it's behind this building. So I'm going to stop right there. A lot of your buildings on the outside are going to have this happen where you have to overlap. So if I drew a square right here, same thing would happen. That line is good, but then look at this line. Oops, I have to stop right here. I'll try that one again. There we go. All right, friends, so this worksheet, again, is a little bit simpler because we're not going to do what we did in the last worksheet at the end. We're not going to make those horizontal lines like this and the vertical lines like this that we did in the other video. And then remember, we erased those lines from the beginning. So we're not gonna do that step. We're just gonna keep this worksheet as is where all the lines go straight into the vanishing point, straight, straight, without any erasing, okay? All right, good luck with this one.